Hey everyone, how's it going? We're back to part two of narrowing a Ford 9 inch rear end using an old Torino truck housing. So hopefully this is helpful in the project that you're working on. We're going to show you where we're at. So I've already taken the tube out and then cut it down. So briefly, this part here, that was inside the center section here. So I cut behind the weld. I just took a grinder and cut behind the weld. So once we cut the behind the weld, the, the tube was free to come out. So we just tapped it out, you know, with a hammer. Once I got the tube out of the center section, I cut here to shorten it off, to shorten it to my where I needed it at. So this is this is the other side here. Now you can see we got it back into the housing. It hasn't been welded yet. So what I did was we took time, you know, we, should, we squared it up. We measured, you know, this is an angle finder. It's on zero. So we squared it up. We left one tube in. This is the factory side. Now those are some pretty rough welds from the factory. We left the factory side in so we could square it up. And then we squared up the other side. We measured it up and down, measured it, made sure everything was square. And then we put the old, um, put our axle back in there. So, if we grab our axle here, it turns effortlessly. See? No pry bars. No screwdrivers. See, I'm just, it should turn very easily with no effort. Sometimes you'll find old axles that come out of cars, you know, rear ends. Um, they're hard to turn. Uh, main reason is it, at one time the car truck may have been in an accident, might have been bent for some reason, but in this case here we have it perfectly squared up and we're ready to weld, weld it up and get our mounts on, which is going to be next. So anyway, yeah, our little our little bearing here, we're just going to it's going to it's going to be a tight fit to get it in, so you have to get a you know, tap it in with a hammer, but it shouldn't be really hard to get it in you know it is a tight fit and then of course we're going to put new oil seals in there because the bearing here it this, this part does not seal the oil from the center the the, the oil seals do and then we want to look um, on the if we're reusing the old axles we want to look at the old axles and make sure there's not a groove worn into them down here if there's a groove where the seal was you're going to have an oil leak so you might want to consider new um, axles you can also sleeve it with a harmonic balancer sleeve that's another option I've done that a um, couple options available anyway we want to thank you for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and we hope you have a great day